Hi guys, good evening and good morning. Uh, when it comes to ETL testing interview question series, right? Today I'm going to discuss another couple of questions. Okay, uh, let's go with the question. Okay, write down the write down the SQL query for fetching the domain name from email ID. Suppose whenever you have an email ID, right? If you understand input data here, right? Ramravinda678 at gmail.com, Raghu at rqo.com, and uh, Ramesh at aho.com, and Rajkumar at hotmail.com. When it comes to when it comes to output, okay, we are expecting the domain name from email ID, okay, which means whenever you have a Gmail, okay, nothing but a dot, dot com, whatever gmail.com, rq.com, yahoo.com, hotmail.com, we are going to consider as a domain name. We are going to consider as a domain name. Suppose if you wanted to get this domain name from email ID from Oracle. Okay, if you want, I'm using Oracle for writing the SQL query here. Okay, let's understand what are the functions are available. First, before going to do that, right? Let's prepare the some test data. Okay, let's create with the table. Okay, simple table we are going to create. That is called just we can create as a email table. Okay, we are going to create a email table, and in the let's go with the email table we are going to create it up okay we have created the email table with the two columns one is employee name employee email id email id now i'm going to insert the data into email table email table let's go ahead and insert it just insert all along with that we are going to get and you are using that i'm inserting the data ravindra ragu ramesh rajkumar these are the names okay and I have inserted four records. Let's query the data. Okay. Let's go ahead and query the data here. What is the table name, guys? Email table. Can we see here? Can we see here? Now you want only domain name. You want only domain name. Let's understand how to get that. Okay. Whenever you have a this kind of data, right? You have to use the two functions, two functions. Okay, first is okay. The requirement goes substring is a function. Okay, which is going to which is going to give you the part of the string. Part of the string. Okay, suppose for example. Okay, let's understand. Select. Okay, what is the column name which we are going to and giving email ID. Okay, let's do the substring. Okay, email ID comma one comma one comma five. 1 comma 5 from which table email table email table let's copy this okay why we need to waste time simply we can copy this and we can go ahead and we can execute this what the substring does okay it is going ahead and taking the from first position to until fifth position it is taking first position to until fifth position it is taking okay so substring is nothing but it is going to take the part of the string by specifying the starting position and ending position here we are specifying pick the pick the column value from first position to until fifth position if you understand r is a, r in email id r is the first position until where we have taken we have taken until fifth position fifth position okay if I don't give this, okay, and ending position, if I don't give here, what is going to happen? It is going to pick from start and it is going to display everything. It is going to display everything. Are you clear, guys? So once you have done this, right? Once you have done this, okay. Now, what is the instring does? What is the instring does? Okay, let's understand. Substring, okay, substring, email ID, email ID. And what is the string which you are searching? Here I'm searching at symbol. Okay, which position I'm searching? I'm searching first occurrence. I'm searching from email table. Okay, email table. In string is going to give you the position of in string going to give you the position of that particular string. Okay, it is going to give you the position of that particular string. Okay. 
here you can see that you can see that okay first case ram ravana 678 okay it is going to be until 14th okay 15th position is the action by and when it comes to ragu ragu is having fifth position ragu is having five characters and at symbol is having sixth position like that you can get the position of the in string in string or it takes the string as an input parameter but it will give you the numeric value numeric value are you getting me once you have this right this particular thing okay you can go ahead and you can you can with the these two combinations we can fetch the domain name how we can fetch let's understand let's write it up that query okay first we are going to write the select substring okay substring then what is the column name email id okay email id then after that here we are using the in string function here we are using the in string function in in string okay what is the column name which you are taking you are taking the email id you are taking the email id what you are searching you are searching the at symbol at symbol which occurrence you are searching in email id only one occurrence at symbol will be present one occurrence at symbol will be present okay now you are going ahead and fetching the as okay domain name okay as domain name but here okay if you do like this if you do like this at symbol also will include let's see that at symbol also will include can we go ahead and do the automatic operation here instinct is going to give you the position of that particular at symbol where it is present where it is present okay now if i can add plus one here okay if i can add plus one here what is going to happen see internally if i can execute step by step okay if you do this okay if you do this one part part by part okay from email table from email table okay if you see this okay each one is yielding 15th position 6th position and 7th position 9th position okay which means it, it is yielding the way the at symbol is present okay if you specify if you specify here the starting position and give if you specify the starting position without giving ending position here i have given one right same way similar if you give starting position without giving ending position what is going to happen automatically it is going to take until end of the column value until end of the column value that's what we have done here okay instinct is going to yield the position of at symbol okay we don't want even at symbol in the output that is the reason i'm adding automatic using automatic operator i'm going ahead and i'm adding the plus symbol here plus symbol here by doing this which is going to give you the 16th position 16th position okay here seventh position here eighth position here tenth position okay after we get that way okay automatically substring what it does internally whatever the position which we have right here 16th position will come here it is going to execute like this okay automatically 16th position which is going to happen okay domain value domain name only will come in the output domain name only will come in the output let's see here can we see here whatever we are expecting internally instinct is going to yield the position of that particular at symbol position and after that you don't want even at symbol in the output that is the reason you are going ahead and you are adding plus one okay once you have that automatically the positions will come okay including excluding that at symbol automatically email id that particular version each value it is going ahead and it is going to execute that automatically we see domain name in the email table from email id okay can you see here this is what we are expecting sir you have done this okay can we go ahead and do the can we go ahead and do the name only can we go ahead and do the name only so another query which we are going to verify okay write down the sql query for fetching the name from email id okay how we can do that the input data ram ravinda 678 at gmail.com and ragu at rq.com, ramesh at tahu.com, rajkumar at hotmail.com. Till now, we have fetched only domain name. After at symbol, whatever it is present, we are fetching. Same thing, after at whatever it is present, we are fetching. But 
Now, okay, before up symbol, whatever it is there, that we wanted to fetch dynamically, dynamically. Okay, how we can do that? So, can we tweak this? Can we tweak this? Whatever the query which we have written, right? Can we tweak this and do that? Simply, what you can do here, if you understand, okay, the at symbol along with plus one, you are giving as a starting position. At symbol along with the along with the one more one more position which you are adding to remove the at symbol. Okay, now can we use same query, same query by changing small things, very small things. So you want you want here, okay starting position should be one because the data which we see here right you want it to fetch from start to until at symbol okay what you can do simply you can do one first position you are going to fetch okay from starting and whatever the position which we are yielding here whatever the position which we are yielding here we have to exclude that right we have to exclude that okay without giving minus okay we have to exclude that symbol okay this is the name okay this is a name okay name we are fetching from email table can we see here at symbol is coming at symbol is coming now what i have to do if i minus okay if i minus using this right if i minus one more position automatically at symbol will remove am i right so here you can go ahead and you can do this automatically you can see the you can see the Ram Rabinda 678 and Raghu Ramesh Rajkumar. Only names are coming. Very simple, guys. If you understand the logic, instinct is going to give you the position of the position of the at symbol. That is the, the whatever the output of instinct, which is going to be the input of input for substring. First case for domain name, you are going to run, you are taking, you are taking the domain at symbol position as a for domain name at symbol position as a at symbol position as a starting position okay starting position but starting position you are adding additional one additional one more position to exclude to exclude to exclude the at symbol at symbol and when it comes to this one right you the, for name name okay name at, you are going to start with the start with the first position of the first position of the column value column value and end position and end position is end position is before 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 at symbol before at symbol okay before at symbol this is the way you have to do the you have to write it up okay very simple select substring email id instinct email id at symbol instinct is going to yield the position okay if you wanted to exclude at symbol you are going to add it up for domain okay when it comes to here as well if you wanted to get the name you are going to minus it because you are already getting the position that is the reason you are minusing it up this is the way you have to do that guys this is the way you have to write it up please comment and do reach out to me if you have any doubts on this thank you guys thank you